got a very good voice. Do I? Very good voice. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You have a face for TV also. Pastor Gerard always says he has a face for radio, which means... Good day and welcome to Step Up. I'm very excited today to share Step Up with you wherever you are. Maybe you are at home watching it with your girlfriends. And by the way, get your coffee, um, get your milk tart, and, or get, get anything that is sweet and enjoy this program with me. Today I have someone very special with me in the studio and I'm very excited here on Step Up. I'm very excited about today and I'm always excited, but today is very special for me because this man is not just a author of an amazing book, he's a prophet, a minister of the gospel, one of the great sons of God within the kingdom of God. So I'm gonna welcome today Pastor Bonnie and I'm gonna try to say your surname. I can't. Okay. <laughs> it's Aguija Four. Pastor mm. Bonnie Aguija Four. Mm. Welcome to Step Up. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm. And welcome to our viewers. Yes. Thank um, you. I know that you're a very busy man, and I know that your this for you is literally buying our time to mm. be here with Step mm. Up today with mm. myself and and our beautiful viewers um, that is watching us today. Mm. And ladies, I'm going to talk out of this book today, and, and we're going to talk about this. This is what we're going to talk about today. So you can find all the details at the end of the program and at the bottom of the screen as, as we will go along. This book I read on my way to Johannesburg because I was blessed with this book with one of Pastor Bonnie's spiritual daughters. And man, oh man, was I blessed. Was I blessed. <laughs> wow. Pastor Bonnie, I want to rush through this book but I've got to take my time and I really have to be now <laughs> sensitive <laughs> because I want to I want to I want to do justice to the book mm. but first and foremost how was this book born the book is born out of the passion to help sons and daughters of Africa it's originally mm. uh, out of a passion to help sons and daughters of Africa who are wallowing in the life that God has mercifully brought me out from. Mm. I experienced what they are going through at some point, and uh, I knew what it feel. I know what it feels like. So I had the desire. It's been a deep-seated passion and desire. I, I always say I want to lead the sons and daughters of Africa to their wealthy place. Amen. And so with that desire. I'm going to work on this. Amen. Yeah. It's like Paul says, I know how to have nothing and I know mm -hmm. how to have a lot. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's Just the same thing. basically that. Yes. Mm. Chapter 1, who are you? And you quoted Ephesians 2 verse 16. We are his workmanship created in Christ for good work so that we would walk in them. And I, I mean, my book is just, look, I've just messed up the book. <laughs> <laughs> I made so many notes and I've scratched in the book. Mm. And we're gonna talk about your natural gold mi mine is mm. hidden in your passion. That's, mm. that's in chapter, mm. that's in, 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 in page two. Mm. Who you are speaks about who you are created in Christ, am I right? That's right. So we are going to start, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with you as the gold carrier. Mm. Can, I, can I put mm. it like that? Go ahead, that's correct. Yeah, you are the vehicle of mm. the wealth mm. that God wants to give in unto you, but it must be created within you. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Wow, thank you. Um, uh, you asked me initially, how did this book come about? Yes. Out of this passion, um, for some years now, for more than 15 years now, I've been teaching and coaching and working with people towards discovering yes. who they are and what they carry on the inside and how to express this thing that they carry on the inside. So coming to what you, you said now, you are, you are the gold carrier. I draw this analogy. The Bible is my book. Mm. The Bible is the coach that I have. So everything that I teach, and over the years that I've, I've been to, to some uh, um, business schools, 
I realized that most of the principles that are taught in most business schools are drawn from the Bible. And so, looking at the Bible, I saw the first man that God created. He placed them in a garden. A wealthy garden. A wealthy garden. And most of the analogy that we made in the book, we are drawn from the garden. Mm. And so, I have understanding that before he brought this man into the garden, he took him from the dust of the earth. Of oh, that very same garden. The very same garden. He took man from the dust of the earth. And he molded the man. <clears throat> the man has water running on the inside of him. He breathed the breath of life <laughs> into the man. And so, a man that is born of God has the earth, all the components of the earth. <laughs> I hear you. Everything that makes up the earth is Easy. embedded in the man. Then the abundance of the sea, <laughs> which is the water, is also in the man because we've got water content that's on right, the inside right. of us. And when he breathed the breath of life inside us, we've got the air on the inside. So I saw a man as the universe packaged in a mobile mm. form. The man has inside him everything that makes up the universe. So I call the human, I call the earth man, the universe packaged Jesus. in a mobile form. Mm. Everything that any man needs to live a life of fulfillment on earth is already on the inside God of him. Placed inside of you. God placed on the inside of us. The Garden of Eden is on the inside of you. The water, the river that flows, the first one of them, the scripture says, this one is the one that waters the land of her villa, I know, I know, I where know. there is gold. Where there is gold. Where there is, and the scripture says, the gold of that land is good. Why did God make the first river to be flowing towards her villa where there is gold? Because he wants the man to be able to learn how to follow the flow of his river. And if he learns how to follow the flow of his river, he will eventually get to the land of her villa where the gold mine is. And today we are not talking about the Havila in, 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 in the Middle East or somewhere. We're talking about the gold that is on the inside of you. We, hate all God. we are talking about the voice, the internal voice that is on the inside of you that if you, if you are able to discern the voice of the river flowing in you, you will be able to get to your Havila and you will discover your gold. Wealth is in you. We're talking about um, life alignment mm. from Pastor Bonnie, and we're talking about the book of, we're gonna talk about this a little bit later as well. We're gonna continue on the book. And I wanna talk to you about today, we are just breaking open first and foremost in this episode of the, f of the first two. This is a two part series we're doing. Um, the wealth that God placed inside of us. And many times we struggle from the day of our birth till mm. the day we are Mm. going back to the ground that's right so we can't understand but oh this is my how do we say no this is my life this is how it's supposed to be it's never supposed to be like mm. that mm. you know while you were speaking sometimes we go and feed the homeless people we look at people on the street and i always say to myself this was never what god intended for you that's correct never ever because god every single one of us on the face of the earth mm. has a specific purpose and assignment. Mm. I used to tell them, sorry for cutting in. No, no, go. I used to tell my people that we feed the street people, we help the people on the street, we feed them, we get clothes and things Do for them. All of these things. But I always said to them that the problem of these people is not food. You can give a man on the street food to eat and after eating he goes back to the street. We've seen people, we, we, we got houses rented and put them into the house. The next week he takes, the person leaves everything that you kept in the house abandoned. and goes back to the street. So that the, the man needs to discover him. It's not to discover food. Food is not the problem. On, on, on page three, you says, therefore the foundation of abundance lies in discovering who you are mm -hmm. and how you are designed. Mm -hmm. Because whoever you are is mm -hmm. supposed to develop mm -hmm. God's kingdom on earth. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's where we talk about life alignment. When you discover who you are, 
and how you are designed. You align your living according to, you align your living in line with your design. So you leave your design. You leave who you are created to be. Therein lies the abundance that God intended for you. Discovering your path and aligning your life to your path. Mm. Guys, we, we, we many times we think this is how things should be. This is not how things should be. Um, we talk and, and you speak about in, in chapter one, you speak about your vision. If you do not have a vision, you do not have a life to pursue mm. where you are as is as a result of what you have seen. That's correct. Where you are not is a result of what you have not seen. yet. Mm. Mm. We've got one minute and 30 seconds left in this. So the eyes of the wealth of the wealth creator is at vision. That's right. Is his vision. That's right. So if I can't see it, if I can't, if I can't dream it, if I can't see it in the spirit, then I can never be that. That's correct. The, the, the thing is, God has already when we are born wealthy, and until you see that wealth, <laughs> you won't be able to harness and harvest it. But it, the problem is not with God. No. All things that pertains to life and godliness, he has already given to us. Amen. That's what the scripture says. He has given to us all really? things that pertains to life. Not some of the things. He's not planning to give to us. He has already <laughs> given to us. But if you don't see the one that is given to you, the one that is freely given to you, you, may not, you will not be able to harvest it and receive it. So vision is the foundation. When you close your eyes, what do you see? Because eyesight can actually sometimes be the major problem of insight. Ah, eyesight could be the major problem of insight. Mm. Eyesight could be the major problem of insight because, and this is why the, the Matthew wrote and he says, Lord, that my eye will be sound, meaning that I will be able to see the things that I cannot see with my physical mm. eye. Mm. Because your physical eye is not supposed to see in the spirit. Mm. Your spiritual eye is supposed to be unlocking what God has intended for you to have. That's it. Because God is spirit. Mm. We're going to take a break and we're going to come right back. Hi, I'm Chantal White from Step Up. Follow my latest article in the brand new Lady Rose magazine. Get your latest copy at the local leading retail stores. Good day, ladies, and welcome back to Step Up. So we are in our second part of this first series of Life Alignment. A very good book and a must get. You will get all the details of this book after after the program and also during the break you've had some of the um, the information and with me is Pastor Bonnie who's the author of this amazing book and again thank you Pastor Bonnie for visiting Step Up. Thank I'm you. excited to have you and it's my pleasure mm, thank you so much yeah I feel very fun. blessed to have you thank here you. with us. Thank you. We're gonna jump we're gonna jump over we spoke about sight and we spoke about vision we spoke about the inner you which is connected to God and your wealth is on the inside of you and why are we talking about this on, on, on Step Up? It's a single woman program. No, no, no. We're trying to cover all bases of your life to make sure that you reach your potential in God. That's because right. Because the reason why you struggle nine out of ten times is because you have not, you have not discovered who you are. Uh, uh, and if you correct. look at, verse, uh, at page 16, you said purpose, dream, and vision. Purpose uh. is, why, why, is the why of your existence. A genuine dream holds the picture and the blueprint of your purpose and your potential. Uh. Vision, therefore, is the revelation of your dream. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have just a dream. It's uh. a revelation of uh. who you really are. Yes, yes, yes. Speak to us about the, that. The, the, the thing here is there is no, no other path for fulfillment of your, 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 your purpose of existence without first and foremost discovering what is that purpose. Mm. The designers of this year designed it, designed it on purpose. And ever before they started the design, they already knew why do we want to design this share the way it is. Mm. That the, the center table here is designed on purpose. To put, a to put something on there. Yeah, even though it has a flat surface, but it's not meant for people to sit on it. 
and they didn't just finish designing and they said, okay, um, I think this can be good. No, they already knew what <laughs> yeah. they wanted to do with it. So the man, the God who designed us, every single one of us, designed us for a purpose. So the first thing is to ask, why am I here? And if you want to find out why you are here, we, say, we usually say in our school of wealth creation, we usually say, if you want to find your purpose, follow your passion. You see, that thing I believe, with, that, is, that is word. That's not something that we made up, that's mm, word. Yeah. You see, some people want to say, I think I am like, and there are so many things around you that will suggest your purpose for you. But no one around, your parents have an idea of what they thought is the reason why you are here and what they want you to be. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the son of Jacob in the Bible called Joseph. The father saw a very wonderful garment mm -hmm. for him. That was the father's dream garment. Yeah. If he had worn that garment for the rest of his life, he wouldn't be able to fulfill his purpose. So at some point, God strategically planned to, be, to, to, to remove this garment from him. It was painful. It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was cruel of his brothers to treat him that way. But God was behind it. Because for as long as he was putting on the father's dream garment, he wouldn't be able to realize God's dream for his life. So first, you need to find out, why am I here? And then, when you are asking the question, why am I here? You begin to have dreams, whether you had it awake or you had it sleeping. You begin to have ideas, you begin to see concepts, you begin to see pictures. So we say, your dream, a genuine dream, will contain the picture, I want to say something around that, the picture of your purpose and your potentials. When you begin to sense that this is the dream that I, that I am I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm meant to pursue, it is going to be giving you a picture of this could be my purpose. Mm. Uh, th th this, this could be why I am here. And I sense there are potentials on the inside of me. This is what dream helps you to do. But then some people will spend the rest of their life and say, I don't know what's my purpose. They go from one conference to another ah. looking for their purpose. Now, when you sense that you are beginning to have some pictures here and there trying to point you to this is what it looks like this is what i like doing it looks like when i am in here i am in my world come on i'm alive i'm alive this is what i enjoy this is what <laughs> brings me alive when you begin to sense that that's what i call the sound of the river Ooh, Jesus, in I your hear garden. That sound, man. I hear so that when sound. you begin to hear the sound Ooh. of the river in your garden, I also call it the song of your <laughs> destiny. I know you wrote it in you your see, book. Yeah. So so you when you are hearing this song of your destiny, Ooh. even your parents sometimes may not be able to hear it. The closest persons around you may not be able to hear the song, <laughs> but the honest lies on parents to be able to listen deep and pick up the song that your, your son or daughter is dancing. Sometimes you want to push the, sh the child to dance differently, but the, the, the dream, the picture the child is picking up is speaking to his purpose and his <laughs> potentials. Now, when you, have, when you are helped to have revelation, revelation now is that you are receiving thorough in-depth explanation of these pictures that you are seeing. Mm. That's when you have a vision. <laughs> when it is still a picture, you may, you, you, you may suggest, the picture may suggest something. Look at, if I look at literal dream mm. in the Bible, Joseph saw himself and his brothers, they were farming. They were yeah, yeah, cutting yeah. the chips. He would have gotten up and said, ah, God has shown me that I will be a great farmer. I'm gonna be a great farmer because my own weight was standing and others were bowing to him. But that was just a picture. There was just a picture of So you need to have a revelation oh, of the, the picture. picture. Come on. When you have the revelation <laughs> of the pictures popping up here and there, you have a vision. And you live for the vision. You know what, something that you said that really got me now was, mm. really got me, and I preached on Joseph many times. Mm. <clears throat> Because the coat represented who he was. But if he was hanged up on the coat, mm. he would have missed the past. That's the point. 
That's the point. God has the best ah, for Lord him. Jesus, and the beautiful thing is that the coat was not made for him by God. It was made by his father. God has a different coat for him in Egypt, the kingly <laughs> regalia. And for as long as he held on to this coat made by his father, he was never going to discover the kingly regalia that was waiting for him in Egypt. Rulership and reign. Rulership. He would have stayed there and be pampered and be damaged. But God has a different thing. And then he, he would have said, oh, I saw this dream. It's among me and my brothers, so I can just sit down here. So the thing is here. The thing it's is here. here. Let me stay here. That's why we need to go beyond dreams, to have a revelation oh, of our God dream. God, give me the interpretation of these things that are popping up in my mind. Whether you are dreaming while you are awake or you are dreaming while you are sleeping. Go beyond the dreams. Go beyond the picture. The dreams you are seeing is, 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 is a way of God trying to capture your attention. Jesus. So you've got to need to pay attention. You've got to need to tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in to the river that is flowing on the inside of you. When you tune in to the river, you hear the sound of passion. When you follow the sound of passion, it will eventually lead you to your havela where the gold mine is. <laughs> so we say that passion is the compass that leads you to your purpose. Oh, no, no, you've got to repeat that. Say that again. Look at that. Look at the viewers and tell them that thing. Passion is the compass that leads you to your purpose. Passion is the compass mm. that leads you to your passion. Passion is the song of your destiny. Oh, passion. Is, I need to repeat this. Passion is the song that leads to your destiny, which mm. means it's the thing mm. that wakes me up. That's it's it. It's the thing that drives me. That's it. It's the thing that's the, it's the backing behind you. You dance that, that dance, that dance of, that Victory. dance based on the song you are hearing. And the people around you are wondering, why is she like that? Why is she driving all the way from Cape Town to grab her every you day? See, you see, you're taking the words from my mouth. It's exactly what I wanted to say now. People question what you do. They look mm. at the kilometers of your car yes. or how far you need to fly. Or how, they've got no idea where God they, is. They, they are not on, hearing the man. song you are hearing. Hallelujah. There is a different song you are hearing <laughs> on the inside Jesus, of you. They're not beautiful. hearing that song. Why will Joseph wake up and say to, and say to, 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 to Pharaoh's wife, I can't do this? Mm. I have offered you everything you want on a platter. But he said, I'm hearing a different sound. The song that took me from my father's house is not about becoming the chief servant in Potiphar's house. I'm hearing a different sound. The sound that kept me from dying in the pit is not of becoming a slave in this house and becoming the chief slave. Even in the prison, he was still hearing the sound. Mm. I know what I'm hearing. I can forgive anybody because I'm hearing a different sound. <laughs> they offended me. They want to trap me with their offense. But I'm not settling in their offense because I'm hearing a different sound. That's the song of your destiny. That's the song of who you are. And as long as you follow that sound, that is your passion. It will lead you to your purpose. Ladies and gentlemen watching this program today, I want to say to you today, if you, let me look at you. If you don't know who you are, we are closing this episode in a minute. You get on your knees, and I'm going to ask Pastor Bonnie to pray before we close, that you will get on your knees and you will say, God, if I've never in my life heard the sound, I need to hear it today. Mm. If I've never mm. heard the sound mm. of the river of destiny mm. and purpose crying mm. in my womb, then God, then today you need to revive my spiritual ear that I can... Woo! Mm. Pastor Bonnie, we've got less than a minute. Please release a blessing over the viewers. Thank you, precious Father. Mm. The ones listening to us today, they are not actually listening to us, they are listening to you. The word yes. says, if any man speaks, let him speak as the oracle of the Lord. We have made our, our voice available for you to speak through us. Lord, I ask that the river will flow audibly in the hearts of any man yeah, listening to Jesus. us today. Let the voice of passion and vision sound greater than the voice of lust. Lord, deliver any man from the, 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 the confusion of the voice of the serpent in their garden. In the name who is trying to distract them and push them away from the sound of the river flowing to Havila.
Help them to hear your voice. Help them to hear the sound of the river on the inside that they will live and fulfill purpose and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Pastor Bonnie, thank you so much for coming and visiting us. And thank we're going to do, we're going to speak about the next chapters in the next episode mm. of for today. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so bless much. Bless you ladies. See you next week. Hi, I'm Chantal White from Step Up. Follow my latest article in the brand new Lady Rose magazine. Get your latest copy at the local leading retail stores.